Shenandoah is looking to hire high school students who are 15 years of age or older for their dining services. You can apply online at shenandoah.com. Email Mrs. Culp at kculp at mefactin.org with any questions. One-to-one -one scheduling meetings with counselors will be continuing for underclassmen through mid-March. Check your email SmartPass account every day to find out your appointment date and time. Fill out your worksheet prior to your appointment. Questions should go to your school counselor. Inventors of Venture is a student-run company that makes science adventure kits, allowing children ages 6 to 14 to think through interactive science experiments. Purchases benefit iPraxis an organization working to inspire students in Philadelphia communities to explore STEM by connecting them with professional scientists and providing hands-on learning experiences. Inventors Adventure is committed to donating 10% of its profits to iPraxis. Visit inventorsadventure.square.site and ipraxis.org to learn more. The television studio is now accepting applications for this spring's 15th annual film festival. Use Google Classroom code PQY34FO to read this year's rules and regulations and to fill out the online application. Most genres are welcome, including comedy, drama, thriller, horror, documentary, and music videos. Be sure to read the rules before entering. Tech It Out Philly is a program that works with local high school students to explore social change through computer science. Students will work during the course of eight weekly sessions in a small group with other high school students and pen mentors to build a website about a social justice issue of their choice. Students do not need tech experience. Program sessions will run on Sundays between February 28th and April 18th from 2 to 3 p.m. Go to techitoutphilly.com to learn more. Students registered for the Driver's Education on the Road program for the spring semester must check their school email regularly. Communication for driving lessons and additional information will be communicated through your school email only. Lockheed Martin Space High School Internship Program may be for you. The program was designed to give students an opportunity to work with Lockheed Martin scientists and engineers. A program intern will spend 9 to 10 weeks from June to August working and learning 34 hours a week on actual Lockheed Martin Space projects while receiving an hourly wage. These projects will solve complex challenges, advance scientific discovery, and deliver innovative solutions to help our customers keep people safe. You must be 16 years or older. If you are interested in this opportunity, email high school internship grspace at lmco.com. If you have any questions, please email Mrs. Culp at kculp at mefactin.org. Do you want to give some unsung heroines of history the recognition they deserve? Then join History Makers, where stories come to life with acting, story writing, and movie magic. If dancing is more your thing, then the Warriors Performance Group is working on a recreation of the music video, Treat People with Kindness. If you think you cannot do the dance, then don't worry. WPG will break it down frame by frame, so you can do it 2 to 10 seconds at a time. Contact WPG club sponsors Janet Hale or Andrew Vitovich to join WPG. Hale at mefactin.org or avidovich at mefactin.org. Check out the website at mefactin.org front slash page front slash 700.
yo, your hair's pretty sick. What do you call that? Uh, they're sort of like curls, but like they're basically micro dreads already. What's a dread? They're short for dreadlocks, like what Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg have. Oh, honestly, I was thinking about getting dreads, but I don't really know too much about them. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with my hair. No one ever taught me. Well, I got something for both of y'all. The BSU is running a black hair workshop over Zoom, where students can learn about different hairstyles, maintenance, history, and so many other things about hair. It's going to run February 25th at 3.15 for guys, and the next Monday, March 1st, same time for the ladies. Y'all down? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, how do I sign up? You can find the registration form on the BSU Google Classroom. We hope to see you all there. My area of concentration is how do I show emotion through the seasons? So I'm doing 2D and design. Um, I'm showing emotions through types of reflections. I do some street art, so basically like urban style. Um, my area of concentration is generally portraits that show something about what it is to have anxiety. So the portrait behind me is um, showing you about feeling like you're breaking into a million little pieces, even when the background around you can be very pretty and lush. Um, this year I'm focusing on how to relate Shakespeare's plays to modern day issues. A lot of things inspire my art. I've always really liked it ever since I was little, um, but I always loved going to museums and looking at fine art in museums. I get inspired by music and album covers a lot and also movies, like entertainment. Um, so all my art is about my friends. So I'd say my inspiration would be my friends. Uh, I just look at a lot of things in the world and kind of just look at them at a different angle and say, oh, that'd be cool to draw and do something with. Um, I guess my friends mostly. I just like watching them and seeing what they do and like kind of memorialize it so that I have something to hold on to. Well, anything around me, basically my family, um, me growing up, so this is what inspired my pieces for AP art this year. I would say mainly my family and friends. Um, I look at a lot of my family members for my um, pictures that I like to draw. Uh, it's a great experience. I would highly recommend it to anyone uh, considering it. I don't think a lot of schools offer such a great program. Uh, the teachers are amazing and even if you're not good at art, um, they teach you a lot of stuff there. It was really impressive. It's great. It's been my go-to thing. I was new, um, like I was new to the school and they just welcomed me with open arms and it was a place that I could always go to. It's by far the best art program I've ever been a part of and I've been to like two or three other schools. Nothing has ever come close to like the level of like professionalism you see here, like the passion, like the art teachers even, they're all great. So I only had Mr. Coons and Ms. Hall, but I absolutely love the art program. Um, they're really good teachers. They like help me through everything with art. I started Art One and then I made it all the way to AP, like thanks to them. The Math Action Art Program is awesome. All of the teachers and all of the kids are really supportive. It's a really, really nice community of people. Um, there's every material you can ask for. It's amazing. Like, and there's really is like a class for every interest, every person. It's so nice. Um, we're all a family, we all accept each other, and it's just overall, it's just a fun place to be, especially if you don't want to come to school, it's just, it's there for you. Take it. It is definitely worthwhile taking it. It will probably be one of your best classes because it's just, it just helps you like think outside of the box and you get get to meet great people. Everyone has something different that they're good at and uh, even if you're not amazing at art, uh, they teach you a lot of stuff there and you become really good at it over the years. It's, I would highly recommend it. Definitely take art. I know Studio Art One is a full credit and that can be scary to some people, but it really is. It's so nice. I would highly recommend it. You're gonna love it, I promise. Definitely go for it. It's, it's an art family and basically you have your own um, set up of what an art college will be like, so you'll get that experience and you'll just meet a bunch of people that you have a lot in common with. So go for it. Amanda Gorman, born 1998. She's the first ever Youth Poet Laureate designated in 2017. 
She is the youngest poet in history to speak at an inaugural address. She found inspiration in fellow poet Maya Angelou, who had spoken at Clinton's inaugural address. She founded a nonprofit called One Pen, One Page, with a mission to empower youth to use their voice to fight injustice and inequality. In the image from left to right, we have Patrice Colors, Alicia Garza, and Opal Tometi. These three women created the hashtag Black Lives Matter after the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's murderer in 2013. They make sure that everyone is represented. Their leadership consists of female, queer, and trans people that other black liberation groups tend to place in the background. Right now, they are calling upon President Biden to sign the BREATHE Act into law. What is the BREATHE Act? It divests federal resources from policing and incarceration and ending criminal legal system harms. It invests in new approaches to community safety and utilizing funding incentives. It allocates funds to healthy, substantial communities for everyone, and it holds officials accountable and enhances self-determination of black communities. Michelle Obama, born 1964. Michelle Obama was the first African-American first lady from the year 2009 to 2017. She focused on supporting military families and ending childhood obesity. She was an Ivy League graduate and built a successful career for herself first as a lawyer and then in the private sector, which she maintained throughout her husband's early political campaign. Michelle Obama created the Let's Move public health campaign, which encouraged a healthy lifestyle among children. Claudette Colvin, born 1939. She refused to give up her seat and moved to the back of the bus nine months before Rosa Parks did. After her protest, she was arrested and became a plaintiff in a Browder v. Gale federal court trial. This court trial eventually led to the integration of all buses in Montgomery on December 1, 1956. Even though her efforts towards the civil rights movement weren't as widely recognized as Rosa Parks, in 2017, March 2nd was officially declared as Claudette Colvin Day. She was also a nurse aide for 35 years after her activism work. Annie Lee Cooper, born 1910, died 2010. She was a civil rights activist. She played a key role in helping African Americans with the right to vote. When she realized she wasn't allowed to vote in her native state, she stood for hours trying to register to vote and fought for her rights. She organized the first Freedom Day. John Lewis, born 1940, died 2020. He was an American politician, civil rights activist, leader, and statesman. He was part of the U.S. House of Representatives for Georgia's 5th Congressional District. He was chairman of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. In 1963, he helped organize March on Washington. He received the Presidential Medal of Freedom and played a large role in the civil rights movement to end racial segregation. Spike Lee, born 1957. He directed the films such as Do the Right Thing, Malcolm X, and Black Klansman. He won an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay. He is the owner of the production studio 40 Acres and Mule Filmworks. He has had four films selected by the Library of Congress to be put in the National Film Registry, and he directed the story mode for NBA 2K16.